This is a brief overview on how to fill out the employee reimbursement form. So the first thing you need to do is put today's date and then your full name under request your name. Next, put your home address and for your business unit, put California Connects. Next, you want to state the purpose. So it says purpose of travel. It, this may not be travel. It could be that you purchase something for the program out of your pocket. Um, whatever the case, please put either business travel or business purchase. Anything will work up here. Next, you want to put the date of the purchase. So here, it, this would be the date of travel since this is a travel item. And here, this is the date of that I purchased the item. Okay, so let's look at travel first. You want to put a description of the trip. So here I have home to Great Valley Center to home. If you start out from the foundation, you would put FCCC to Great Valley Center to FCCC. So it just depends on where you started from. And next you would put in your travel miles. So this is the round trip. Whatever you can attribute to the trip, put in here. Um, there could be an example where you just went one way. Um, be sure you report the complete miles that you traveled for business purposes. And it's going to auto fill in the total expense based on your mileage. And it will auto fill these two places as well. And program to be charged is always going to be California Connects. Okay, so let's take a look at the second, which was a business expense. So I have the date of purchase, description, and then under incidentals, go ahead and put the cost of the item, whether it be food, um, perhaps you purchased food for an event or supplies for an event. Go ahead and put that cost there, and it will calculate total expenses, and be sure you charge the program California Connects. And everything will auto total for you at the bottom. So we see the total that you are owed. And the last thing that you need to do is print out this form and sign it under request your signature. And we get, then get it over to me, Daniel. OK. So when you send this over to me, you need to attach a copy of your receipts. So if you purchased an item like that book, you would send a copy of that receipt for the book. Now, for your trip, since you obviously can't send a copy of your receipt for travel, what you would send is a MapQuest or Google Map of the, the round trip. Be sure you add a note to that map somewhere on the map saying, um, matching it up to the wording that you used in this field. So on that map, I would put home to Great Valley Center to home, and then the round trip miles. Go ahead and make a, a PDF of that and email it to me or just submit it together with this employee reimbursement form. Um, you can also mail it via, via snail mail, or if you're on site, just hand it to me and I'll go ahead and sign it and get that into finance. And if you made it before the deadline for submitting your timesheet, it will probably be on the following check. And that's it. Thank you. Please ask any questions if you have them.